Here's what the corruption index looks like. The nations in yellow signify least corrupt. And Nigeria, alongside other countries in sub-Saharan Africa, marked in red for more corrupt. That's according to Transparency International, of course, whose ranking for Nigeria under the Good Luck Jonathan administration drew concern. But three years down the line, from a change of government to President Muhammadu Buhari, an administration with a strong anti-corruption message, it may appear as if not much has been achieved. However, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC, has been at the forefront of Nigeria's anti-corruption crusade with a number of high-ranking government officials accused of financial corruption, including a former spokesman of the PDP, Olisa Metu, former Petroleum Minister, Dezani Alison Madueke, and a former Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Abashir Lawal. Some high-ranking judicial officers have also not been spared. But what is the Corruption Perception Index? It's a ranking of countries according to the extent to which corruption is believed to exist, created in 1995 by Transparency International to measure perceptions of corruption in the public sector in different countries. Um, a lot of people who have looted money, they still have access to uh, bringing in confusion and uh, making it look as if they are just being selected for victimization when they have looted and destroyed the country. So uh, those people, they are a large number. This means corruption has worsened in Nigeria between 2016 and 2017. And in West Africa, Nigeria is rated as the second most corrupt country. Whether this ranking will galvanize relevant authorities to more action to change the narrative remains to be seen.